Hello, Instagram. Welcome to my home studio in the beautiful Catskill Mountains in upstate New York. I am John Morrell, and my man Tyler over Simply Fragrances had done gym fragrances a while back. He didn't tag me officially in the video, but he did tag me personally and in our DMs. So uh, I'm in the gym every day, five, six days a week. And so I do wear fragrances to the gym, but what is a gym fragrance to me? I guess that's the first thing we should talk about. A gym fragrance is something that is uplifting, energizing, but doesn't invade other people's spaces, right? So you don't want to be blowing people out while, the, while, while, while they're working out, right? So um, to me, it's, again, it's, it's uh, and I, what I do is I just spray one spray on the back of each of my hands. That's it for the gym. So that when I'm lifting, okay, when I'm lifting weights, I get I get a smell of it. Now, I, I do wear a mask at the gym. I like to restrict my breathing a little bit, something I do. Um, but but every once in a while, I'll pull down my mask and smell the back of my hand. I do that um, because I want, again, I, I want a fragrance that keeps me going, uplifting. So for me, it's a, it's a bright fragrance. You could say it's a warm weather fragrance. It is, but that's that. those are gym fragrances for me. So what kind of gym fragrances do I wear to the gym? I'm going to give you two cheapies. Okay, uh, two cheapies, but one that is a little pricey and, and, you know, using a pricey fragrance as a gym fragrance, that's kind of up to you, right? Let's go with the pricey one first because I'm going to get it out of the way. It's one of my favorite gym fragrances. I really do dig this uh, for the gym. Uh, for me, I don't get a lot of longevity. I don't get a ton of longevity out of this. It does project a little bit. I shouldn't say it. it projects very well for the first 30 minutes. So I spray this on 30 minutes before I go to the gym. That way, it's not projecting out to everyone in the gym. But I really love this because it's super, super uplifting and really, really energizing. And I'm talking about Parfums de Marly Sedley. This is the pricey one. This uh, on discounters, I want to see uh, Aura Fragrance. You can get this for around $150 for uh, this 4.2, I believe. So, uh, which is a good price, by the way. Totally worth it if, again, a fragrance being worth the money is kind of up to you, right? So for me, 150 bucks for this fragrance. I love it. It's a lemon, mint, bergamot, grapefruit, mandarin, lavender, rosemary, alabanum, geranium, and broxton sandalwood, vetiver, cashmere, cedar, patchouli. But those top notes, the lemon, mint, bergamot, grapefruit, mandarin, just, I mean, it's, it's just so uplifting. I mean, broxton just pushes it uh, off your skin for the first 30 minutes. So that's why I put it on. Uh, it, it, now, keep in mind, it does this is a little more projecting than the others that I'm going to talk about, the other two I'm going to talk about. Um, so this does project a little bit, but it's so just so energizing, so energizing. I I have to wear this to the gym, even though it might be a little more projecting as a fragrance than I would like it to be in the gym. But it's one of my favorites for the gym because it really does. I smell my hand and it just keeps me going. I love it. Um, so this is really, really uplifting. So that is my first fragrance, Parfums de Marly Sedley. All right, so my next gym fragrance, something that may surprise some people. I've actually heard people say they don't really dig this one because they had some flankers come out, or I shouldn't say flankers. They had some other fragrances come out that people feel are just better than this, which is Salvatore Ferragamo Subteal Pour Home, which I think is how I say, Subteal Pour Home. S-U-B-T-I-L. Okay, so this fragrance, I really dig it. And let me tell you why. Top notes are ginger, mandarin, lotus leaf, cardamom. Middle notes, coriander, pink pepper, violet. Base notes, amber, musk, patchouli. So this fragrance, after the first five minutes, dries down to something that smells, to me, really natural, which is surprising because I think I picked this up at a box store, Marshall's. I think I picked this up for $9.99. It's, it's very inexpensive. Um, it's not something that, that that's flying off the shelves or people are dying for. It's very inexpensive. Um, this is a smaller, uh, I think it's 1.7, 1.7. So that's what it was one uh, 9.99 at, at Marshalls, I believe. So um, it dries down to be very natural. It doesn't smell like you're wearing a fragrance, right? Um, and I kind of dig that. It, it it's um and again it it's, it doesn't really invade other people's spaces. It projects a tiny bit so that you can get you know you can get a whiff of it every once in a while while, while you're lifting or working out, but it's uh, it just it smells natural. And when I say that, it almost smells like you're in a garden with some citruses. Uh, you know, I, I really dig it, but the, the violet and the lotus leaf, um, and again, it's a little spicy with the pink pepper, but 
it's really, really pleasant. And it's really, uh, I think it's something that no one could be offended by, which obviously is something that is important at the gym, just in case people do get a whiff of it as you walk by or they walk by you while you're, while you're lifting or working out. So I dig that. It's a surprise, but that's one I actually dig. Okay. Next is one. I'm going to talk about one that I wear all the time. It's, it's probably one. It is one of my favorites, if not my favorite gym fragrance. My next gym fragrance, third final gym fragrance, something that I believe is probably my favorite. I wear it the most to the gym and it's Missoni Wave. Okay. Missoni Wave or Missoni Wave. I think it's Missoni, right? Missoni Wave. And this, first of all, the bottle is pretty cool, right? And for the price, you can get this depending where, but uh, you can get this for around $40 and it has a magnetic top. I mean, a $40 fragrance with a magnetic top. Uh, again, at discounters, uh, eBay, reputable sellers, you can get this really inexpensively on Aura Fragrance, but it's out often. It, it doesn't stay on the shelves at Aura Fragrance. But this fragrance, okay, to, to be quick, I, I, you know, I'm assuming most people watching this probably are familiar with Versace Signature, Versace Pour Homme, and Chanel Homme Sport Eau Extreme. This is a combination of the two. If you like those two fragrances, and I do, both of them for the gym, actually, and that's why I, I decided not to put those two in, in this uh, video, because this is a combination of the two of them. This is really, really good for the gym and also warm weather, of course, but I will say about this one, again, I would apply this 30 minutes before you get to the gym because this does project a bit starting out. But 30 minutes in, it sits nice and close. Again, I apply it the back of my hand, one spray the back of my hand each. This is such an energizing, uplifting fragrance. It is perfect for the gym. I absolutely love it. Um, top notes, C notes, citruses, Sicilia mandarin, middle notes, lavender, clary sage, rosemary, Egyptian pelagronium, uh, Base notes, vanilla or orchid, Haitian vetiver, patchouli oak moss. This is outstanding. It's, it's, it's probably my favorite fragrance for the gym. Um, that and Sedley, but Sedley is pricey. This one, again, you can get for about uh, $40 on discounters. And you can wear this to the gym and it's a fantastic warm weather fragrance. So those are my three fragrances for the gym. On a thank you, I just got out of the gym, which is why I thought I'd do it. Got out of the gym, uh, just got out of the shower from the gym. Uh, today was cardio day, which not my favorite. I like to lift cardio day, but I guess you got to do it. And so uh, I thought this is a good time to do a video on my three favorite gym fragrances. There you go. I want to thank you very much. We out.